So I'm doing some work on the house in another video which will come soon but I was going through IKEA and I came across these. Now these are smart um, devices from IKEA. Uh, we've got a sensor, my jigger spray, I don't know why they make the names so hard to, to say, <laughs> um, and Bill Ressa, I think that one's a bit easier, that's a switch. So what I plan to do in this video is just go through how we set these up with um, Home Assistant. Uh, it's probably a pretty targeted video so if you've got one of these you can flick through in the bar below to the point you want. I'll start by setting up this switch. Uh, so we'll open it up, put some batteries in it and then uh, connect it. So inside the switch box a uh, little manual with a couple of pages in English. It's pretty useless to be honest. And uh, um, the switch itself. Uh, what you need to do is get a little flathead screwdriver, or I used a knife, and just flick that open. And then we'll put in two batteries into this. So once you get that little clip undone, you can open it up. And then it's just got the spot for two AAA batteries. So you push those in. And now what we need to do is uh, open up the app that we have, um, the Home Assistant app. And what I need to do is go up to Add to Home Assistant, add a device, and then add Matter device. And then it asks you to scan the code. This code is actually on on the bottom behind that magnet. So there's a magnet, a little magnet thing that you used to attach to the wall. But there's the code there. Uh, so we can do that. And then while it's searching for the device, you need to hold this middle button down. Um, you hold it a few seconds and the light will come on. And it starts flashing and then the search into for device will change to connect to device and then you can let go. I know why you have to hold the button down but that's what you have to do. Um, it will then say connect to device and it will go through all the configuration. We'll come back once that's done. Alrighty now we've got that set up we can uh, look at setting up some automations. So uh, we'll do that by clicking on the automations, add automation screen, and then create automations, create new automation. And then here we will add a trigger and um, you simply have to add entity and then search for the device. So here we can type in BIL for Barissa and we can see there that we've got the uh, button so we click on that um, we actually don't have to add anything else it'll just trigger based on that button uh, so we can go to the actions now uh, so here if we click on the action uh, what I'll do is I'll set it up to trigger my lamp in the lounge so I'll go down to uh, here and we'll select the smart plug which is the one that triggers on the lamp and we'll just set it to toggle so the button will toggle it on the same button will toggle it off so now we've done that we can choose a name whatever uh, and now we're ready to test it so I'll click the button and hopefully the lamp switches on All right, now let's turn our attention to this one, the Mug Smig Spray. <laughs> um, this one is a motion sensor, um, so it comes with some. Uh, it's a couple of instruction manuals. We don't look at those. Some 3M tape. Um, like a bracket where you can mount it flush mount or in the corner 
so that's quite good. Uh, and then I've got to take this back off and we'll get to the batteries. But that's what the uh, unit looks like. You need two AAA batteries that don't come with it. So I'll probably go re with rechargeable ones if this looks like it's going to work. Uh, so I'll open it up and let's put the batteries in it. So it has like a little flappy door. Uh, so there's one that's got to go that way around and the other this way around. I'm not going to put this back on until I've, you need to use this button here to sync it. So I won't put that button or connect it, whatever it is. Um, I'm not going to put that back on, but this gives you a bit of a look at the corner view as well. So you can put, you know, like screws in the corner or on the flat part and mount it either flush on the, onto something or in the corner. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's get this and try and connect it through to our home assistant. Alrighty, so we are gonna start setting this up. So basically what we need to do is go into add, add to home assistant. We add a device. We're adding a matter device. We'll say it's new. We've got to scan the QR code. The QR code there. All right. So now we, it, it's saying um, get ready to connect. So I'm going to push this button on the on the sensor and hold it. And actually, the light will flash on the front, and then we can say I'm ready. It will search for the device. And we're connecting to the device, which is good. So as you can see, both of these have been very easy to connect up. Um, I believe you do have to have Matter Threads, which needs either like a Google Home, an Alexa, or an Apple TV or something. So just do some research on that. I mean, these items are so cheap, but um, obviously there's a bit of management that goes into the into the you know the Google Home or whatever. Okay, so now we've connected that. I will just go through quickly how we uh, can set up some automation. So if we go into settings, then automation, we create an automation. Uh, we want to create a new automation, add a trigger with the device, select a device, hopefully it's here. The motion sensor so here you can either select um, when it becomes occupied I think that's when the sensor is triggered when there's not when it's not occupied when it's out of the room or there's some options for how bright it is in the room too so I'll have a play with that maybe can I can do another video but at the moment let's just do um, where the you know um, sensor becomes triggered and then what I'm going to do again I'll do the same thing I want to trigger uh, down here I want to go um, add the double I select the device we want to go through and select our smart plug uh, I've just modified that to trigger to turn on the smart plug when the motion sensor is occupied. So let's just check if that works. So I've got the sensor covered up and sure enough, 
the light is on. So yeah, it's as simple as that to set up. Now, I'm gonna say this was 12 Aussie dollars, something like that, so pretty cheap really. Um, the switch was similar. Uh, so these are good options. The only problem is you have to go to Ikea. <laughs> Might not be a problem for some people, but for me, oh my goodness. Um, there's some shortcuts that you can take and stuff, but if you're in Ikea and these are there, worth a shot, they work really quickly. Like the switch, I'm surprised it works like a light switch. Um, so I'll give them a thumbs up. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments below. If you wanna subscribe, I'll be doing more home automation stuff as I've got a new house and we're gonna automate lots in it. So thanks all, catching you in the next one.